make color simply disappear. Today we are going to learn about all of that and more with my disappearing egg experiment. Hi everyone, I'm Emily Calandrelli, MIT engineer and host of Emily's Wonder Lab, and on my channel we learn about all things space and science. So grab your Ziploc bags and some markers and get ready for a disappearing act. In this experiment, we are going to make light change direction so dramatically that it disappears from view. For this one, you're going to need an index card or cardstock, markers and a black Sharpie, a sealable bag, and just a big glass of water. It just needs to be large enough to fit your index card. First, you wanna draw something very colorful on your index card. I'm gonna go ahead and draw an egg. It doesn't matter what you draw, you just want it to be colorful. And you can color this with markers, with Sharpies, or with colored pencils. It really doesn't matter what type of coloring mechanism you use, anything will work as long as it's colorful. And now I'm going to go ahead and outline my entire egg with my black Sharpie right on the index card. Just like this. Now what you wanna do is put your index card in your sealable bag. This bag is a little bit bigger than my index card, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the corner of the bag so that my drawing on the outside of the bag always lines up with my index card. So go ahead and take that black Sharpie again, and we're gonna go ahead and make that same outline on the outer edge of your egg. So carefully trace along the same edge of your egg. This outer edge will line up with the black Sharpie that you did on the index card. And then we can go ahead if we want and make those same lines across our egg. You can really get creative here and draw whatever you want. This is great for Easter or for Valentine's Day or for St. Patrick's Day or for the holidays. Now that that's done, we are ready for our disappearing act. So what you wanna do is make sure that it's going to fit inside your container and all you have to do is dip it in and twist it just like so. And when you get to the just right angle, you'll notice the colors disappear. And this is our disappearing egg experiment. You see the colors, and then you don't. You see the colors, and then you don't. How cool is this? <laughs> this one feels so much like magic, but it's not. It is just the science of refraction. The way this works is that the light has to bounce off that paper and through different mediums to eventually get to your eye. But here's the thing, light can slow down depending on what it's going through. If it's going through air, it goes about the same speed as it goes through in a vacuum. But if it goes through water, it'll slow down. If it goes through glass, it'll slow down. If it goes through plastic, it will slow down. And when light slows down from one medium to another, guess what? It also changes direction. That is refraction. And sometimes if the light changes direction so much, it can move away from your eye. That's what's happening here. But why do we see the black lines and not the colors? Well, the light has to bounce off of our drawing and reach our eye before we can see it, right? So both the drawing, the colors, and the black ink on top of the bag are going through the water and the glass. Water has a refractive index of 1.3. The refractive index of light in a vacuum is about one. 1.3 means it slows it down. The refractive index of glass is 1.5, so it slows it down even more. That means the light is bending each time it goes to the water and the glass. But what else do the colors inside of the bag have to go through? The bag itself. The bag is made of something called polyethylene, and polyethylene also has a refractive index of 1.5, similar to our glass. And that makes the light bend away so much that it moves away from our eye and it disappears. Thanks for learning all about light refraction with me. If you like this one, be sure to check out my best-selling Stay Curious and Keep Exploring series for 99 more science experiments. I'm Emily Calandrelli. Subscribe to learn about all things science and space. And remember, stay curious and keep exploring. I'll see you next time. Emily's science lab.